I think Sargent was particularly modern in the way he controlled his subjects, almost like a stylist today would guide somebody to make the right fashion choices for the image. It's the image, the painting, the finished performance that's important to Sargent. And I think um, his way of styling his sitters, which is more often to abbreviate than to add, is really quite a modern choice. Well, one of Sargent's most masterful things is his ability to capture texture and surface in paint. And he translates these luxurious fabrics of the period into surfaces that we can really tell, whether it's uh, a velvet or a satin, the sheen or the softness of it is rendered particularly beautifully in Sargent's paint. It is interesting, isn't it, the way that the, the hands are both, you've got those fingers there intertwined with them. And he also said that there's a sort of phallic kind of connotation to the way that this like dangles down. It's one thing that we're very interested in in this exhibition is the way that um, Sargent used clothing and fashion choices as a means of exploring gender identity and indeed challenging conventions around gender presentation during the 19th century. Samuel Pozzi, um, a prominent French surgeon, is depicted not in his smart tailored suit in, 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 a, in, a, in his public presentation, but he is, as the title says, at, painted at home, wearing this uh, bright red um, kind of nightgown, effectively. And you can see his, his slippers poking out from underneath the robe. And so I think it's important to emphasize the how unusual and even radical a gesture this was in the 1880s and how much by painting a, a prominent man in the domestic sphere in this informal um, clothing, Sargent was very much challenging the ideas about how, how men were presented in a, in, in, in a public guise. And there's, I think there's certainly something even sensuous around not just the way that the, the fabric is painted and the way the light falls on it, but if you look at Pozzi's hands, both of his hands are kind of intertwined with the, with the, the tassels and the, and the, and the kind of the, the lining of his, of his robe. And so there's, there's something very sensuous. It's, it's as if Pozzi is himself e exploring the, the robe that he is wearing in a, in a way that is extremely tactile and um, yes, indeed, possibly even homoerotic. That is true. Yeah, I think when you go round, but we yes. know, if I come from home, I can drive back in half an hour. That's right, and that works. But well, if you go above or below, I'm trying to get from the I mean, this exhibition is a different take on Sargent. Normally, we associate him with his portrait and society paintings, which are, of course, here. But here, they're showing the sort of fashion side of his practice and how that was an important part of his painting. And it's a different look of Sargent. It will probably attract a different audience, people who are more interested in the blend of fashion and art rather than just the pure art history buffs. Send yourself an email.